Praise the Lord. They said the day the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad because what we wait for a long time is now here. Father Moses Kani is first. What a joyful moment for us, and it must be a joyful moment as well. Uh, be said himself who journeyed with him, also I'm certain for, for Father Andy, as he sees what his brother uh, priest, um, which is which would be Father Andrew. Um, you know, you can don't forget he was the one here. So Father Andrew, um, Father Andy, on behalf of we we welcome you to Mass here this morning, and please convey our gratitude to Father Andrew so he can be proud of to see what his what what he what he did for us here. And now we're celebrating a first mass of someone who, who literally was formed in this parish. Again, Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. <laughs> Yesterday evening, Father Andy asked me what the intention will be for your Mass today. And I told him, I just want to say thank you, you know, and I invite you to say thank you with me to God for many years of formation, for friends and family who have journeyed with me until this moment. And pray for me that I will, be, oh, I will always be grateful for this gift that God has given me. On Friday, I, as I was preaching, I was telling parishioners as a nominee, I don't see myself worthy of this vocation because I was not the best at my time to be picked or to be called. But it's the grace of God, the mercy and compassion. And for the many times we have not recognized that mercy and compassion from God, the moment that we think we deserve what we have, let us ask him for pardon, for mercy and compassion. I confess to oh, my God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
abasement ab 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 of your son have raised up a foreign world. Fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The spirit, the spirit came to me, to me and made me stand up. I heard the Lord speaking to me. He said, Son of man, I am sending you to the Israelites, to the rebels who have turned against me. Till now, they and their ancestors have been in revolt against me. The sons are defiant and austere. I am sending you to them to say, The Lord says this. Whether they listen or not, this set of rebels shall know that there is a prophet among them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. In view of the extraordinary nature of these revelations, to stop me from getting too proud, I was given a thorn in the flesh, an angel of Satan to beat me and stop me from getting too proud. About this thing, I have pleaded with the Lord three times for it to leave me, but he has said, my grace is enough for you. My power is at its best in weakness. So I shall be very happy to make my weaknesses my special boast, so that the power of Christ may stay over me. And that is why I am quite content with my weaknesses and with insults, hardships, persecutions, and the agonies I go through for Christ's sake. For it is when I am weak that I am strong. The word of the Lord. Jesus went to his hometown and his disciples accompanied him. With the coming of the Sabbath, he began teaching in the synagogue and most of them were astonished when they heard him. They said, where did the man get all this? What is this wisdom that has been granted him? And these miracles that are worked through him. This is the carpenter, surely, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Josette and Jude and Simon. His sisters too, are they not here with us? And they would not accept him. And Jesus said to them, a prophet is only despised in his own country, among his own relations, and in his own house. And he could work no miracles there, though he cured a few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Boy, I know that this is his favorite word. When I tell him something, he says, Boy. A few times at St. Dominic's, I told him, You know, your sermon was good, but you could change something. He says, Boy. Boy, you are a priest now. He 
he told me that last night he was not able to sleep and he doesn't, he didn't know why. You are a priest. <laughs> Father Moses, first of all, I would like to thank you for allowing me to preach at your first Mass. This is an honor for me, because I've been a priest for over 18 years, but no one has ever asked me to preach at his first Mass. <laughs> and right after Moses came and we were talking about, uh, that, about the time he was to be ordained or something, I remember it was like 11 o'clock p.m., we were chatting a little bit, and he says, you know, I would like you to preach at my mass. And I said, he must be drunk or something. <laughs> you know, Moses, it is an honor, and I hope that what I'm going to say, you are going to remember, and we are going to remember. You know that I'm not, my English is not my first language, even though that I'm a Bajan now. <laughs> But it's not my first language, but I don't like this Mass being called Thanksgiving Mass. In Poland, in my country, we say that this is first Mass. That's it. Because this boy, <laughs> Father Moses, to me, as I can see it after 18 years of being a priest, he has nothing to be grateful for. Because everything Moses is coming to you now. Maybe in 20 years from now, you will be able to say this is a Thanksgiving Mass for everything that you have experienced. As a young seminarian, we ask our priest, you know, Father, what would you say, are you sure that this is your vocation, that priesthood was for you? He was at that time 92, so he spent almost seven, close to 70 years as a priest, and he says, you know, I am not sure. I would be sure that vocation to the peace pools was my vocation when I am six feet down and the grave, the, the, the grave man will just put his last uh, shovel of soil over my grave. I would like us to treat this mass as sending Moses off. Because this is his beginning of his ministry. This is just the beginning and we as his brothers and sisters, we have to support him with our prayers. He says that this is thanksgiving, yes, but what are you going to experience in your priestly life? It's nothing comparing to what are you thanking God for now. I can tell you that. Because, Moses, when you see people coming to you, crying, because their lives are destroyed or has been destroyed by stupid decisions, by mistakes. And you will absolve them and says, I absolve you from your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And you will see the joy in their hearts. You will say, boy, what is going on? When you see people when you baptize them, and then you see them coming to you for First Communion, then you say, boy, I am aging. <laughs> and when you see, this is what I experienced even last year, that people that I gave them first the First Communion for the first time, and a couple years later, they, uh, because of COVID, so there are something, some good things about COVID, that because of Bishop Jason was not able to travel, he allowed me to, to conform people. And I said, I gave them First Communion and now I am allowed to anoint them, to conform them in the faith of Jesus Christ. This is what is coming to you. So look forward to what are you going to do. But brothers and sisters, today's readings are challenging. Challenging us as priests. In the first reading, God is sending prophet Ezekiel to his people. He says, I'm calling you to go out to my people who are stubborn, who have left me. And I'm calling you to go and bring them back to me. And then we see in the gospel, Jesus going to his hometown, to his people, and he's not accepted. So boy, 
Be ready that sometimes people will not accept what you are going to say. But this is not about you. This is about the one who has sent you. Jesus Christ. And now I understand why Moses decided to become a priest in Barbados, not in, in Kenya, in his country. So far away, I hope that you can soon go there and celebrate Mass over there. But I hope that you run fast because if they want to run some rocks on you, then I'm joking, of course. <laughs> and you know, I was shocked yesterday morning at the ordination when I had the, the program. And Moses wrote something like that. As I prepare for my priestly ordination, I have a mixture of feelings. I am excited that finally this day is here. But at the same time, I feel nervous. Priesthood, priesthood is a calling to be another Christ to the people of God. A call to give myself as Christ did. A call to become both a priest and a victim. I look at myself and I see, all, and all, all I see are my limitations and weaknesses. Will I be able to give myself fully and totally to Christ? That is my worry. But I know the grace of God will always accompany me. He has called me and he will equip me to accomplish what he wants through me. Brothers and sisters, we have to support this man. This is an honor for not only me preaching at this Mass, but this is an honor for you all to be here when he for the first time will say the words, this is my body, this is my blood. This is an honor for all of us to be here. There are places in our planet when people don't face that event. They don't witness that event because police are not there. It is an honor for us to be here. But we have to help him. I was thinking how to help him to go out and bring people back to God. He has to have something special, some tools that will help him, that will remind him about his mission. And I would like to give him a few things. But before I do it, you, have you ever heard about St. John Vianney? Yes. He was a French priest and he had challenges to, to become a priest. He was very poor and he was sent to the parish that people were very difficult. No one, no priest from that, the entire diocese wanted to go to that parish because people were difficult, everyone was difficult. But because of his dedication, because he took his ministry so seriously, at the end of his priestly life, the palace was, was totally changed. People came back to God because of his priestly ministry. And at some point in his life, he said those words, my heart to God, my smile to people, and cross to myself. And I would like to give you something that will remind you of those words. Just find this. <laughs> what is the first one? <laughs> My heart to God. How you can do it? It is through your connection to Jesus Christ. How we can do it? By reading the Bible? By praying? Yes. So I would like to give you this rosary. Oh, you can sit now. <laughs> this rosary that I got in a, in a little town uh, close to Fatima uh, when I went there two years ago. This is called Santarem, where a Eucharistic miracle happened. And I saw this little piece of bread after 700 years was still there. And it is one of the places where Eucharistic miracle took place. So I would like to give you this rosary so you can, through prayer, give your heart to God. And 
then to fulfill your priestly ministry, to accomplish it, as St. John Vianney says, smile to God. How to do it? Yeah, he, he laughs a lot, especially when he says, boy. <laughs> what would remind Moses to give smile to people? And I think that you have to be like wine. Wine is a sign of rejoicing. That's why even Jesus changed, his first miracle was to change water into wine. Because that was a sign of rejoicing, sign of God's grace. So that's why I have a bottle of wine for you. <laughs> Father Paul, this is not for you. Huh? <laughs> When people come to you, they will not be drunk, but they will be happy. <laughs> be this wine to your people that you are going to encounter. And when you bring joy, you bring God to their hearts as, as well. And then the most difficult one, to accomplish that, Jesus at some point says, if you want to follow me, pick up your cross and come after me. So I would like to give you a cross that I got I bought it in uh, South Korea when I went there. It's a beautiful cross. I was actually having some second thoughts. About it. <laughs> so I would like you to remember that being a priest is not always about having fun, but sometimes it's about suffering as well. And for all those 18 years as a priest, I've seen it. I've seen people changing their, their lives, but I've seen people bearing and, and carrying their, their crosses. And as well, I experienced this in my own life. So if you take your life seriously as a priest, so you have to be close to the cross of Jesus. I still have some more. <laughs> because, brothers and sisters, our memories are very good, but short. We remember certain things after we, we don't remember. And Moses, at moment of crisis, I would like you to remember those good moments. When you have moments of doubts, why I have to do it? Why I have to go and preach? Why I have to deal with it. How? When it's difficult to preach, to say people come back to God, when you see you preaching and people still do their own crazy things, at the moment of crisis it's good to have good memories. And I would like to give you some pencils. <laughs> They are there, I will not open it. So, this is for you to write down those good moments, those moments of grace, when because of your preaching, because of God's grace working within you and through you, people will change, write those moments down and remember them at the moment of crisis, at the moment when the cross hits you hard. I have one more. <laughs> because the wine can be can be gone hopefully soon. You can give some to Father Paul. <laughs> it's his favorite one, right, Margaret? It's yours. Well, you look at Father Paul. <laughs> and I would like to give you something that you would you remember those words of Saint John Vianney: "My heart to God, my smile to people." and cross to myself. I will show it to you.
no more. <laughs> Father Moses, I'm very happy to be here with you, and all I can say that I'm going to pray for you, and I'm going to remember this moment for a long time. And as your brother in priesthood, remember that you always can come to me for help, for advice. And brothers and sisters, at the end, let us remember to support priests. Being a priest is not an easy calling, especially when we have to face our own challenges. But with beautiful people, we can together accomplish something. If you are with your priests, we can actually build the church of God. Amen. This is what we are going to do. So pray for them, be with them, and I'm sure that your priesthood that you are about to start will be fruitful, and then years from now, you can say a truly thanksgiving mass. So this is just a send off. May God bless you, Moses. Amen. Amen. Let us stand and profess our faith using the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God. and prayers with confidence that he will hear us and answer us. Loss of motor 
possibility that they may be comforted by the grace of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this power strongly may always embrace our priests and sustain their ministry by our love, our consistent prayer, and our trust in their leadership. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all priests over the world who now sleep in peace of resurrection and for those who may die this year or this day, that God lead them gently into their eternal reward. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, listen to our prayers. Listen to the cry of your people. Listen especially to those prayers hidden deep in our hearts so deep for even words to express them and grant them according to your will through Christ our Lord.
brothers and sisters, that with my sacrifice and yours can be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for all good and the good of all his holy church. May this operation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being new, of being now called a chosen race, a loyal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into your, into your own wonderful light. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts of and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we are created. Be praised to grant her peace, to guide, unite, and govern her throughout the world, together with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Neil our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servant, Veronica Karaoke, Hori Wanjiko. and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, 
and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this celebration of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your presence, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was, he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to you, O God Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took these precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more, giving you thanks, he said a blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Mm -hmm. This pure victim, this holy victim, this fortress victim, the holy blood of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon this offering with serene and kindly countenance, and accept them as once you accepted the, <clears throat> as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice as pressed up as Potter's victim. In a humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angels into your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith, and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, 
and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also your servants, for those sinners hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Messiah, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all the saints. And let us beseech you into their company, and not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through whom you continue to make all these all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we may understand.
sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But I will say the word, and my soul shall be
Moses. Yeah. Yeah. I used to call him Father Moses. I used to call him Kabuga. <laughs> but now there's another name. Boy. 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 <laughs> I also want to say, so the, I mean, I joke about it, but at the end of the day, it's about the prayers. You notice that we had novenas both for our bishop's ordination and for the ordination of Father Omaris and Father Moses. And it reminds us that prayer truly works. So keep praying, keep on praying. I want to say a big thank you for that wonderful sermon. From Father Amen. Yeah. Yeah. It took 18 years, but it was great. <laughs> <laughs> After Mass, um, Father Moses will remain with us throughout the day, the whole day, right, Father? Yes. We have, we have some breakfast snacks, but then throughout the day, we're going to have lunch. So if you don't have power like me or water, and you don't want to stress the wife about building a wood fire to cook, <laughs> you can come and have lunch here. You can come and participate in our lunch. Um, we are going to serve lunch throughout the day. Um, and just come and mingle with our priests. It's very important to get to know your priest. Your priest wants to know you as well so that he can walk with you in your journey through your to becoming a renewed, strong Christian. So please take the time. Um, today's, today's the beginning, as you all know. So there will be many opportunities going forward to walk with our priest, but spend some time with him today, helping him to celebrate his ordination. Today we also are going to make a small presentation to um, Father Moses on behalf of the parish of Sacred Heart. So um, I'm going to ask Teresa to come forward at, oh, there you are. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Father Moses, we congratulate you on your priestly ordination. Like Bishop said, he wants you to be a holy priest. Thank you. But I know you are going to be a very holy priest. <laughs> we are happy that you decided to celebrate your first Mass with us here at the Sacred Heart of Jesus Church. We are honored and we thank you for choosing us. We want you also to extend to your brother priest, um, Father Omar Farman, the congratulations of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Now, we, you decided that you wanted to celebrate your first Mass here with us under the guidance of the Sacred Heart. And your novena was also under the guidance of the Sacred Heart and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So, we ask our sacred heart of Jesus to continue to watch over you and also um, Father Vernon continue to watch over you all and guide you all and protect you all as you undertake your ministries and I pray that the 
immaculate heart of Mary would blanket both of you each and every day. On behalf of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, the members of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, we just have a, we are not um, as rich as um, St. Dominic's to, to hand three or four gifts to you. But we have our secret. I couldn't let that pass. <laughs> But we have um, a small presentation to make to you. So can you come forward, please? So on behalf of the Sacred Heart Church, we just present you We also have another presentation to make. Now, Rev. Stephen Joseph, although he hails from our sister church, the Lady of Our Rosary, he has been serving us here at the Sacred Heart also since his ordination. And today we also want to present him with a small gift. Forever Joseph to be on power, please. So thank you, Theresa. And um, gifts usually come from the heart. And I know that, um, as Father Andy said, those are personal gifts. So in spite of them being a much richer parish, I know those are personal gifts. So thank you. <laughs> OK, um, very quickly, I think it would be a very good gift, a very special gift to Father Moses if he can give his parents one in silence and we thank them for the gift of Father Moses to us as priests. If he didn't say yes to his birth, he would not be here. So we give them in heaven and we come in silence with him all the May they rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and the souls of all the faithfully parted through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Do we have any visitors today? Can you please identify yourselves? Two visitors, three, four, five. Thank you for coming and sharing in our mass. The lady that was in blue, the lady in blue is um um this time again that is um that's um Father Father Moses's relative family. So come to us and join
birthday is this week? <laughs> Two birthdays. Please come forward. So Father, we thank you for the gift of life you have given to these, your servants. We thank you for them as they celebrate birthday. We pray that you will continue guiding them, you will continue journeying with them, that every day they will feel your presence, they will be able to experience your love from you and for those who surround them. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. been a guy, a mentor, and I always pray, if only I can get a little percentage of your energy, I'll be beautiful. Because I don't know if I can get that energy that he has. So I thank you for that, uh, for journeying with me, for being patient, you know. I was not easy, I know. Uh, but you have been there, you have been a guide. Uh, most of being feeling comfortable in Barbados is mostly because of how you introduce me to the people of Barbados. Thank you so much. I also want to thank Sacred Heart Community. You know, you have been amazing. You know, um, you have been amazing. You have been like a family to me. When I came here, you know, feeling nervous, I couldn't understand a word you say. <laughs> In, in your accents, you know, 
and I had to console myself, it's them who have an accent, not me. <laughs> not me. And through that, I got comfortable, and slowly by slowly, I can hear you, and I can understand you. Uh, and thank you so much for being my first family. I know also I, I was uh, going to Our Lady of the Rosary, whom Father Paul always complained, I abandoned. <laughs> but what do you do when you come to a place with so much love? Do you feel <laughs> But now, don't let Deacon Stephen and his wife actually Sharifa go and say that I say they don't have <laughs> He's there. But you, you, you became so special to me. And through you, through Sacred Heart, I uh, embrace a devotion to Sacred Heart, and especially to Padre Pio, who was so close to Sacred Heart. And I thank you for that. Then, they are my friends who are here today, whom have been my companion, you know, in other social lives. And I thank you too, you know, uh, Crystal, Darren, Rachel, her sister Dean, you know, laughing there loud. Uh, Shakira, Sharifa, you know, and I, I hate calling names because sometimes I forget, you know. But I thank you so much, you people, for, for, for embracing me. You know, I remember uh, that day I came on Wednesday. On that day, it was St. Patrick's Day and uh, at Bishop birthday. And I was standing at St. Patrick's Cathedral. I don't know who to talk to, I don't know anybody. And Lecho came and started talking to me, and I felt that once at home. And from them, they have been friends to me. So I thank you so much for journeying with me. I thank you for being there, you know, for that friendship. For that friendship. And of course, my dear Sacred Heart young people, I know some of them are not here, but they gave me a purpose to persevere. As Father Paul said yesterday, the one moment I felt, mm -mm, you know, and he know, I told him, I can't wait no more. But it's through them, journeying with them, they gave me that purpose to persevere. And uh, the family from uh, Black Rock, um, Zindia, and your family, who have been uh, a very great support, especially when I was at Black Rock assigned there. I thank you for that, you have been part of that. And then I want to thank you, Veronica, my family relative, for being here, you know. Uh, when I went to Jamaica, that's where I met Veronica, you know. And through that, uh, we developed that, and, and realizing that she was somehow related to us, became a great friendship for us. And then she moved from Jamaica and went to the States, and I remained there, then going back home. And the whole journey of coming here, you know, being very supportive and so on. So I thank you and pray for your family this day. I know I work so closely with care ministry here, you know, because that's what I, I like doing. And I thank you also for opportunity to work with you, opportunity sometimes to be with you in your ministry. You taught me something, you know. I say, if these ladies can do it, and they have their own commitments, and this is what I'm called to do, I also can do it. And I thank you for your perseverance for what you do. The works you do is not just mere work, but you are touching the wounded Christ. And for that, you will receive much blessings. So I thank everybody, everybody here present. I can't call everybody, but I appreciate you all for all you have done for your support. And yeah. as Bishop said yesterday, the work just began. Yeah. And as uh, Father Andy said, I don't know anything yet. It's coming. <laughs> and so I look forward for your support, for being there for me, uh, uh, supporting me in this ministry, and that my ministry will be fruitful, that I'll become a priest for you and uh, a servant for you. So uh, after final blessing, when Father Andy and Father Paul process out, I will remain here. Those who want special blessing, 
I'll remain here to give you my first individual blessing. Thank you very much. Please stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Our reflection of him, number 285. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah.